When was the last time that was clean? Oh, my God. It's so dirty. Oh. Goodness me. Mold everywhere. The food's been in this fridge for so long, even the fridge has now started to go moldy. Look, just here, there's like mold caked on. This thing hasn't been cleaned for years. Look, it's real mold. It's been here that long, even the bottle's moldy. The place is a health hazard. Mold is festering. So potentially dangerous in terms of poisoning someone. This place can't stay open. The place is disgusting. Maggots. Oh, infest the maggots. Oh, God. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Hi, Gordon. Michelle, how are you doing? Who organizes this place? The cooks and myself. When was the last time I had a really good sort out? Um, um, yesterday. Yesterday? Yes. Look, underneath here, the amount of mold that's growing. Look. It's really important that you're honest with me. Every time I say something to you, all you do is smile at me. Because, when when, um, when uh, are you going to get serious, Michelle? I. I, I am serious. Well, show me some fucking seriousness then, will you? Because if you were serious, you wouldn't be having this up there. What the fuck is that? That's the uh, dark chocolate terrain and uh, That's white how you work? Market. There's finger marks in there where someone's gone in with their hands. That's how you work? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. You don't care anymore, do you? Is everything perfect? Even in your kitchen? I don't think so. It's fucking clean. Wait a minute. This guy with the attitude that has no idea what's going on insults me, tells me that he doesn't have to, you know, his restaurant bullshit. I don't want you to come and tell me if everything no, is awful. You hate the truth. No, I don't hate the truth. You hate the truth. Tell me that everything is awful. You know what? I can give the fuck right to. I work for Thomas Keller. I know yeah. how the kitchen goes. How long ago? I work for Thomas for Gary Listen, Carson. Yeah, hey, let me give Thomas you Keller doesn't run a kitchen like this. No, he doesn't. Thomas Keller's one yeah, of the most amazing chefs in America. He'd be uh, fucking embarrassed if he saw yeah. this shit. Uh, maybe, maybe not. This is extraordinary. It was good for him to be humbled. Michelle was of the opinion that, hey, if I want to serve dog shit on a plate and the customer doesn't like it, too bad. The restaurant is not doing that bad, OK? I make decent money. How much money have you made in seven years? How much money have I made where? In the restaurant in seven years. Wait, what do you mean? How much money have you made in seven years? Ah, uh, sorry. It's a big question. You need to make it smaller. How much profit have you made in one year? You're hiding from me. Mm, no, not really, but... No. You don't want my help? I, yeah, I, I want your help. I want your help, but, you know, I want good help. Don't fucking dare start lecturing me what you want me to tell you. I'm here to help. The quicker you understand that, the better for all of us. Right now, every time I tell you something, it's the man that's just fucking ignoring everything I say. While customers in the dining room continue to eat subpar food, Chef Ramsay's kitchen investigation intensifies. What is going on here? What's that? The burrito. What's that one? The chicken enchiladas. Oh, how? Oh, my God. What's that? That was the ground beef. Ground beef? Half of it's fucking fat, you idiot. It's fatter than you. I felt satisfied that finally somebody called him out on his bullshit. Oh, shit. What's that? The bean. Oh, how? It's like a cement mixer. Are you fucking stupid? Who's controlling this? I am, Chef. You are. You are a walking disaster. Now I'm feeling like, like stupid. Lift it up. The fridge is full of shit. It, it's disgusting. I wasn't here on Saturday, but what were they expecting? Fucking 10,000 customers for lunch? Paddy, I'm fucking disgusted. Yolanda, that's a joke. I understand. I don't want people to get sick, and I don't want them to spread the word that food is bad here. You're overstaffed, underworked, shit food. 
I wouldn't trust you running a bar, let alone a fucking restaurant. You must be out of your tiny mind. I don't care for your restaurant. I want to take that out there. I dare you. Take it out there. Go on. Give it to them. Yeah, there you go. It's with me. Look at me. Why wouldn't you take it out there? That's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Why are you serving it? You don't fucking care. Why? Why? Because you're serving that and trying to charge people money for that. That's why you don't care. I care for You this. don't care shit. No fucking way. Fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry, but we're stopping service. But we're stopping service. Everything you've had to drink, eat so far is all on the house. Sir? That thing in your hand, put it down. If you'd just seen where it's come from, like I have, you wouldn't be eating it. Very sorry. Close up. No pill anywhere. I was like, what the hell are you doing? You can't do that to my customers. By the way, there's your refried beans on the way out. Have a look at it. Oh my God, the garbage bucket. I couldn't believe it, and uh, seeing all these people walking out of the restaurant. It was like, this is the end. I think Vic got a dose of reality. He walked around like he was untouchable. So I was relieved that finally somebody else told him that he was responsible for a lot of this. Twice baked potato. Thank fuck I missed that one twice. Oh, fuck. So dirty. God, when was that cleaned? Oh, my God. What is that? This is 10,000 times worse than I thought it would be. That's like lava of shit and crap. Kitchen health hazard. Bingo. My fresh lobster ravioli. Soggy. Strange taste inside. Fresh. My fucking ass. I've eaten this shit. The general hygiene in refrigeration. Oh, fucking hell. So that's the pesto I had for lunch. Just look at the colors in there. Look at that. It's moldy. It's now lunchtime. The chefs are preparing. Customers are getting ready to eat. But Gordon steps in. Can I just have a quick word with both of you? Two seconds. No yeah. problem. When was the last time you went in the kitchen and had a little look around? Once every Tuesday or so, we'll go in the wall, scrub them down. God, when was that cleaned? Irene, you mentioned earlier about how clean Right. This place was. The Board of Health came here and believe me, they gave us 95. So the place is clean. That's 95 out of 100. Right. I really don't think you've got any idea. Can I just take you in there? Sure. Come yeah. on, let's go. Yeah. Uh, is that on order? Yeah. Can you just stop? Charles, stop what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Are you aware how filthy your kitchen is? Yes, ma'am. How dare you cook me a lunch out of this kitchen, known really? for well how filthy your kitchen is? So you don't even walk behind the line. Look at under I here. I scrubbed everything. Come here, two I seconds, Peter. Get your fucking head under there. Doug, look under there. Why have we got product in there? Why are you using it? Why is it not condemned? To have another chef in my face about my kitchen, I'm pissed off, boy. Me. Even a crouton's gone moldy. Oh, my god. Would you eat that? Come on. Let's go in the walk-in fridge. Let's... Oh, I'm amazed how... I'm amazed how you're so cool and chilled at this. You know that? Dog food in the fridge? That's the fish bag. It's what? God. Actually, that, that's, that, that was for me, actually. That's for you? Yeah, the one Don't one. eat it. Uh, Don't fucking eat it. I already have. You've eaten it? Smell that, then. Smell sour. Probably sour on the yeah. outside. Are you fucking mad? Sour on the outside? Oh, come on. It's pork. The pork was mine. That's my, that's my personal meal. Oh, fucking hell. I didn't expect this kind of a mess that I've seen. I'm very upset. I mean, that's the only way to put it. Very disappointed, very upset. What's this? That's a chicken uh, valdostano. Does that look half cooked? Yes. Started to be cooked. Yes. Thank you. 
I'm, I'm just not a throwaway person. That was cooked on Friday, and I had to recook it Saturday. That's what you got to do. You kill whatever customers we got left. What have you got to say about it, as someone that owns the place? When it comes to the freshness of the food, that really falls on just the chef alone. Can we get out of here? Shit. What was that clean last? Seriously? What's that? Bro, look at that. There's another one. Why are they keeping this? They're going to kill somebody. That's raw meat, cooked meat. What in the fuck? Oh, my god. They're going to be responsible for poisoning the whole of fucking Queens. Uh, these are all rotten. Bloody hell. What is going on here? I don't know what the fuck is going on. Have you got two seconds? What I saw at lunchtime, I knew we had problems. But I'm more concerned, not just about the shit that's going on upstairs. Both of you and Evelyn, come here. Let me show you very quickly how much you've checked out. How often are you in this fridge? Every day. Every day. What is that? This is the jar we had earlier. Take it. Yeah, put it on there. What's that? This is chicken. So you've got cooked gyro cooling down, and you've got cooked meat sat next to raw chicken. In a different tray, sir. In a different tray. And on top of covered uh, basket of uh, chicken. You cannot store cooked meat anywhere near raw meat. Rule number one. Just smell that. Just smell that. And smell that. Fucking smell it. Yes, I smell it. Yeah, go on, what's the smell of? Can you tell me what that smells of? Because he's in denial. It That's, smells like shit. That is disgusting. Have you any idea how long a jar where, needs to sit? Did, where did you find this? Where the fuck do you think I found this? If it's old, we should have just thrown it out. There's no reason to keep have it. Have you any idea how many years that needs to be in? All this these fucking eight jars. Eight years. All these jars and my children's life were stored at the back of the fridge. Just. This has been eight oh. years of it. Oh. That is disgusting. Give me one more excuse, and I'm going to flip my fucking lid. This place right now is a fucking hellhole. And when you talk about jars of fake caviar in a fridge for nearly eight years, that's just an inkling to how dysfunctional this place is. Because if you're operating it this badly, I can help you in two minutes. I can give you the best advice you'll ever get. Lock the fucking door and close it down. That is salmon. That's just marinated in, it's like, an Italian dressing. Oh, dear. What's this? Oh. Seafood restaurant on the water. Tuna and dyed pink to make it look authentic. Look at it. My god. Unbelievable. And here we have. That looks like the mushroom risotto. Great risotto. Unbelievable. Alarmed by the state of the kitchen, Gordon is anxious to take the staff on a tour. Good morning. There's something I want to show you guys, yeah? Come with me. Come in. The general hygiene in this fridge is a fucking joke. All right, come round. Walking round, want to get up to speed, looking at the ingredients, checking. What is that? Is that just taken from the steam table and dumped on the trolley and then whisked yes, in here? That's exactly what it is. That should be straight in the trash. Hey, I ate here yesterday. Yeah. I'm not happy. Whoever's responsible, 40 years in the business, well experienced, you have to seriously start opening your eyes. This place is not right here. We've got no chance. I did not know that was going on. Item after item. Oh. I was pissed. What's this here? I um, believe it's beef tips. Beef bits in blood. That's nasty. I need some answers, AJ. It's pretty terrible, and uh, you know a lot of it lies on AJ. There's no excuse for it. And that's the that's the classic of the day. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a risotto. Take a good look. Unfortunately, it's not a drawing. That's real serious shit at its best. It's a joke. Look. At the fucking colour of the chicken. AJ, can I have a look at it? Yeah, no, okay. you've got to see it, AJ. I do see it. 
asking my father, doesn't want to deal with the back of the house. The back of the house is falling apart. That's my frustration. I'm sorry, but it's not right. It's got to be somebody's responsibility. I'm not going to take responsibility. It's the owner's fault. Why would I blame myself for that? I'm not going to blame him for that. Unbelievable. Trusting my dad is obviously not working. Look at where all our money is gone. I'm really oh, mad right now. They can't go on like this. Get everyone together. We're going to just get everything cleaned up, start scrubbing walls, cleaning all the stoves, get rid of all that food in there, whatever's dirty, garbage. Listen, they're not drumsticks. They're crab sticks. Just dumped in here on top of another bag of Alaskan crab. No dates, no labels. How on earth are you supposed to run a business when you've got no idea what's in the freezers? What is down here? My god, it gets worse. Look at it. It's absolutely jam-packed. Chicken after chicken after chicken. My big worry is how much chicken does this restaurant really need? I mean, there's just bags of it. And not only that, but the smell is horrific. Oh, my god. Look at these fillets. I've seen less packs at an army base. It's over 50 packs of meat. And whoever's buying this needs to be fired. Now, what worries me about this is there's one more fridge upstairs. What is that? Fucking pigeon. Oh, my god. It's never ending. Just when I think I've seen enough, there's more. Look, dead. Decomposed, soft, dead. Oh, that's the snails. Oof, how? What is that in there? That is a raw, dead lobster. That is disgusting. It's two hours into Chef Ramsay's inspection. Michael, Balbina, and Jerry arrive unaware of what Chef Ramsay is doing and what he has uncovered. Morning. Good morning, Chef. Good morning, Chef. I just need you for two minutes. Who in the hell buys produce here? Who, who's responsible for that? I am. You are. Fucking pigeon. What I'm trying to look at are the profits, the purchasing, the thousands of dollars waste. These here. They came in yesterday. That's dead. Let's have a little look around here. Jerry, please. And you wonder why I don't like your sauce. That is a dead lobster. And the freshest thing in this kitchen is that pigeon flying around. And he's lucky he's still alive. I thought that the kitchen was in somewhat disarray. Did I think it was that bad? No. I'd love to turn around and say, that's it. Have you seen what's downstairs in the fridge? Where do I start with this? Look at all this fucking meat here. I wanted to make sure I was ready. For you whatever ready for what? Way. Whatever. Help me, Michael. Whatever ready for what? My way. Whatever, whatever came your way. I don't know what to expect. You're burning money you haven't got. Why is this like this? And, and what happened, Michael? Somebody's not doing their job in, in the kitchen. There's expensive because produce this, here. This is ridiculous. Yeah, my fault. I, and my fault on our refrigerator. I'm disappointed that so much was ordered in advance. There's no excuse for that. Spend some time together. I've got to wash my fucking hands before I get diagnosed with fucking staphylococci. Oh. This fridge is dreadful. Wow. Chicken breast. Oh, my god. Just dumped in there. Not even taking out the bag, that's how lazy they've become. And the whole fridge is not even chilled, it's warm. There's not a decent temperature on the floor here. What is that? Unbelievable. Pork belly in a carrier bag on the floor. Next to the pork belly, you've got cooked chicken. It's actually hot inside, just festered in there. That's sat next to the pork belly, you've got cooked chicken. Cooked chicken, raw pork. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is that? Some form of chili. Ay, ay, ay. And I have salmon. That was the last one. Excuse me. 
Hello. You and you, come here. Look. That oh, is a pork. Oh, what? Well, that's yeah, pork, pork fat. fat. Just hold that two seconds. That's next to this. Fucking wings. And the top is soaking wet because it's fucking full of condensation. And this, who grabs that out there and doesn't think about changing the fold? Who could be that dirty? Chili? Chili. Shit round the outside. Look at the mess of this place. It's fucking ridiculous. Someone fucking man up. Young man, you are running a business. Hot wings next to fucking raw pork. You'll kill everybody. Upon further investigation, Oh, my God. Gordon discovers that something is missing from the display-only dessert tray. Have we served that dessert on there? Yeah. Here we are. That dessert's been served from there. That's not good. What's this here? It's been leaking in the fridge. What? That's really old. It's a bread pudding. That's a bread pudding? Sure. That's a shrimp. Fuck. Oh. It's not. Yeah, that's disgusting. Why is it bubbling? Because it's old. Yeah. That's gross. We'll get rid of all of no, this. No, 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 no. Nick, I know you're busy. Yeah. I'm fucking shitting myself now. I feel when, you know, things aren't going good, I, I just as soon get out, you know, just move on to the next thing. Now, where's Brian? I know you want to run away from it. I'm not running no, away. I can't run away from it. Yeah, I've just been watching and fucking shitting myself for the last hour. What are you doing to people? Give me an answer! You know, we can't oversee everything we assume that... You know. OK, take me down to the fridge. I want to see how you fucking really work. I cannot believe that this is how you guys are running a restaurant. In my head, I was thinking, we're going to be screwed. That's what in there? That's the walk-in freezer. That's the freezer. That's the walk-in freezer. Look at the mess here. What's this here? Bacon. Yeah, obviously, bacon smiles. That's from lunch. Yeah. Yeah, five years ago. You leave a spatula in there like that. I'm sorry. Nah, fuck off. I cannot believe what you guys are doing here. There was so much going on. My head was spinning. My head was going to explode. I, I, I thought to myself, this is a disaster. What's that in there? Shit, that didn't get put on. Oh, my God. I don't know what the fuck oh, that's all fuck about. Oh, my God. Oh, no. This is not good. Raw chicken. That should never happen. You know, should... Oh, my God. Chris, it's fucking chicken against raw chicken. It's, it's fucking. Hey, panini head, are you listening to me? Yes. You're going to kill someone. I'm eating here! Partners? Partners in crime? You should be ashamed. We are ashamed. You've just contaminated the town. Now, Nick, Nick, yeah. stop. Yeah, everybody. Right now, this is not a romantic eat out. This is a Valentine fucking massacre. It's a disgrace! How can you do this?